Hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm with Harris County Precinct 4 Encore. Today on Encore Excursions, we're at the Battleship Texas, and we're with Monty Parks, who's going to elaborate on the ship's history. Hello, I'm Monty Parks with Harris County Precinct 4 Parks Department, and I'm here with Fun for Seniors and Encore at Battleship Texas. I am the historian or the historic programmer for Harris County Precinct 4, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the battleship and what significance it has to our history. Welcome to the Battleship Texas, a Texas State Historic Commission battleship, also a national landmark. The Battleship Texas was built in 1912, commissioned into the Navy in 1914. It served in both World War I and World War II. It is the last remaining dreadnought class battleship in the world. It was decommissioned after World War II in 1947 and given to the state of Texas as a living monument and a museum. People have come here since then to visit the battleship. They also allowed in the past overnight camping trips for Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Um, unfortunately, the battleship today is in a lot of disrepair due to age, and they cannot raise enough money to keep it afloat, basically. So every year they're losing money, losing money. So plans are in the future to hopefully put it in dry dock and actually put a new hull on the boat so that it can survive for another 70 years for people to come and visit and enjoy. During World War II, it was one of very few U.S. warships that actually served in both the Atlantic and the Pacific. During one of the battles in the Atlantic theater, a bomb came through their turret, through their wardroom, and into a state's room and did not explode. That bomb was def um, defused a day later in Portsmouth, England and is on display actually in the battleship. Had that bomb exploded where it did, it possibly could have sunk the entire ship. The Texas had a long history of being a tryout ship, an experimental ship. Anytime the Navy came up with new technology from radar to analog for helping to fire bombs and fire weapons, the Texas was one of the few ships that got the first upgrades. So all through its history, it was the most modern battleship in the U.S. fleet. Okay, right behind me is the back of the battleship Texas. And the battleship Texas was an experimental ship for a time with the um, U.S. Navy. In between World War I and World War II, as new technologies developed, they needed a way to field test those technologies. Battleship Texas was their test subject. It became the first ship to have full-on radar capabilities. It also had state-of-the-art guidance systems for its um, shells and for its bombs. But a really cool fact is it's the only battleship in the U.S. Navy's history to actually launch a plane from the ship. Apparently they set up on one of the turrets back here and had some kind of contraption that shot the plane off the back of the boat and it actually flew. Have not ever seen anything saying whether it was able to land on the boat, but it definitely was launched from the battleship Texas. Unfortunately, several years of having the boat sitting in the water and not enough money to keep repairs up has led to a lot of problems with the battleship. If you see behind us, they're pumping water from the lower decks. The boat is no longer watertight. It leaks every day, in fact, um, several years ago, it had a five foot by six foot hole developed that actually caused the entire boat to list six degrees. Plans are in the future to take the boat from this site and have it put in the dry dock where they can completely replace the hull. That's going to cost several millions of dollars and take some time. They hope to have this started by the end of the year this year. Um, back in the heyday of the Battleship Texas, one of the ways that they made money for upkeep on the ship was by selling souvenirs from iron off the ship. 
You can get commemorative coins, commemorative buttons, and all kinds of things that were struck using metal off the ship. They used to be sold in the gift shop. So it's a great old ship. Again, a lot of history there, and it would be sad if they were not able to repair it and dry dock. So hopefully, here's to another 70 years, and God bless the Texas. Thank you for joining us on another Encore excursion and we look forward to seeing you at our next exciting destination.